Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video is gonna be in focus? Uh, okay, girl. Um, today's video is going to be a foundation review and wear test. I love doing these videos for you guys. They're so fun for me. And I think you guys really like them too because who doesn't need a good review? I know I'm always looking at foundation reviews before I buy things. Um, sometimes I ignore what I see anyway, but hey, good research, you know? So today I'm going to be reviewing the BH Cosmetics um, BH Liquid Foundation Naturally Flawless. Looks like this here. I actually was able to find this in my Ulta and stores. I had been eyeing it online because it's so cheap. Let me, you know what, let me pull it up for you guys. I believe it was $7.99. And um, I saw it online, but you know it's really hard to pick colors online. And I ended up being able to find it in a Ulta in Town Square. So yeah, but... The only thing was once I saw it in person, it was still hard for me to pick a color because they don't have testers out um, and they come in a box like this. So I couldn't really try anything. I ended up picking up the color 212 in the shade Light Olive. Um, it says this is, according to Ulta, it says get skin pampering benefits and a radiant complexion with BH Cosmetics. BH Liquid Foundation Naturally Flawless. Reformulated with the addition of hyaluronic acid. You guys know I love hyaluronic acid. And it helps keep skin hydrated and younger looking. This foundation provides lightweight, medium to full coverage and a natural satin finish and comes in multiple shades to flatter multiple skin tones. Now, I didn't think they had a lot of shades, so... Um, and there's a perfect match for you. It's vegan, cruelty-free, etc., etc. Um, and the bottle's really nice. It's one of those frost glass bottles but that does make it hard for you to pick out the color so mm, um, and it does have a pump which I appreciate so yeah let's just get into this bad boy um, I'm going to prime my face to give this the best chance I can give it I'm using my no pore blend primer first I already moisturized now um, I was trying to film An eyeshadow palette review and tutorial and it went south real fast um, so I am having to scrub it all off and my eyes are killing me now they really hurt they feel like I was using sandpaper to take my eyeshadow off but you know whatever I guess um, okay so now I'm gonna use my benefit professional And last but not least, I'm going to use my Physician's Formula Rosé All Day. Now, you definitely don't have to use a serum. I've just been really liking serums, you know. So. Okay, so we are ready to go. I'm going to do something I don't normally do. I'm going to do a half side sponge, half side brush, see what goes on better. Um, let's start off with the, let's start off with the brush. So I'm using my Morphe M439 and I'm just actually going to just pump it on there. We'll take a little bit first because I'm not sure. It says medium to full coverage, but you know, you never know. Okay, so that provided no coverage at all. <laughs> oh. Alright, so maybe we need a lot. I kind of feel like it smoothed out my skin, but I, it didn't cover anything. Um, I'm going to try again. About the same amount.
That looks terrible. <laughs> okay, so, all right, I'm not gonna say anything. Let's just try the sponge side. Also, this, this is not light olive. This, this is beige, light beige. Okay, so I definitely feel like the sponge put it on nicer than the brush. But neither side are that great. And it's really white. Um, is this about to be the second beach cosmetics fail of the day? Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. Alright, um... I think I'm going to add more because this is full coverage. How many layers, how many layers do I have to put on to make it full coverage? Cause not fam. All right. Um, the consistency of this is really weird too. Maybe I have to shake it longer? I shook it. Shook it. I shook it. But I also don't want to put 5,000 layers on my face. Okay. So with this, the, the brush was a fail. We, we throwing this brush out away. I look like a ghost. I don't wanna keep layering it on cause I feel like it's just gonna make me look whiter and whiter. Look at that. I mean, it's not horrible, but it is definitely lighter than my other foundations. It does not look nice. Like, you could still see all my discoloration. It's like bunching up really weird right here. Oh God. Oh. All right, guys, this is looking really weird. Very strange. Like, I almost don't want to add any more. <sighs> okay. Let's just finish the forehead, I guess. See, look how, like, it, it feels like it's almost like pink. <laughs> Maybe dramatically, because I already have one beige cosmetic sale. This is just one of those things where you keep trying to fix it so you put more on and it just gets worse. Okay, I'm just gonna stop because it looks horrible. It, where did it go? I know that's beauty, but look at it. 
it hasn't really even changed colors, which my beauty blenders always do because it soaks up a lot of product. Where's the product going? Because I don't see that much of it on my face. Okay. Okay. I'm honestly like, can I go outside like this? Can I? What am I doing today? I have to go to the grocery store? Okay, so we're going to try to save it with some... Can anything save this? I don't know. We're going to try to save it with some concealer, bronzer, powder, all that. Okay, guys. So... This is the foundation. Um, I'll, let me, I'll zoom you guys in real quick. Real quick, because you know, we don't need to be seeing all that. And so I will say that it looks better now that I powdered it down, but you clearly, you can still see all of my marks right here. Um, this side, same thing, all of my marks. Um, <laughs> This was not medium coverage. I don't, I don't know. Like it just, it didn't cover anything at all. And with, before I put powder down, there was a moment there after I turned on the camera, where I was just looking at it and I was just like, it can't be saved. It can't, like it looked terrible. It was bunching up all around my nose right here, creasing all crazy. Like um, now foundations, I have combination leaning more towards oily skin. And foundations don't, they don't sit as well just regularly on a regular basis for me. Now I found tips and tricks along the way that help my foundation look the best for as long as possible. And I have my favorite foundations. I have things that work for me, things that don't. So like I'm not expecting it to be like flawless immediately for $7.99. No, it's just not how it works guys. But it looked terrible and it was the complete wrong color um now that it's on me and you know like i said i have bronzer on and all that and i have it all down here it actually does look okay i'm kind of worried to go out into the like the natural sunlight and stuff and look at it and find out that i look like i don't even know like casper but um with powder now i didn't use my normal translucent powder to set my face which face face, which is what I do with all my other foundations. I actually went in and used my Maybelline Superstay Better Skin, um, so it does have color to it. Um, this is in the shade Nude Beige, um, just to make it less, less white. <laughs> it was white. And then um, for concealer, I used my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Medium Honey, and I did kind of try to put it over the areas that it wasn't covering. I put on like two and a half layers of this and I just felt like it looked the same every time and maybe that's why it was bunching up so much because I was putting more on, but I was putting more on because I noticed no difference. So I would definitely say this is more light pushing it to medium. This is not full coverage. This isn't at all. Um, now, with everything on, I do feel confident going outside right now, like in public, you know what I'm saying? Um, because it does look nice with my highlighter, bronzer, everything set. And I use my Smashbox Primer Water to give it, like, the best chance to look nice. So, now that everything's on, it doesn't look terrible. Um... We'll see how it wears though. I do have a lot of errands today. I'm um, going to Costco. I have a lot of cooking to do. I'm going to probably stop by, um, I think TJ Maxx and Trader Joe's that I have to go to. So I will be outside. It is really cold in Vegas right now, although it is sunnier today. Um, so I will be out in the sun and all that. And oh, I'm, I'll check back in once I get home from all that, and then I'll show you guys again at night before I'm about to take it off. Um, so far, it's a no-go for me, um, but you know, we'll see. Maybe I'll be surprised. Maybe I'll catch myself in a mirror and be like, oh! I don't know. All right, see you guys later. Okay guys, final check-in here. It's about, mm, it's about six o'clock. I'm ready to make a buff. As you can see, 
I am so oily. I'm so oily. <laughs> Which, you know, the foundation doesn't, um, it says it's a natural satin finish. doesn't say oil control or anything like that. So, you know, to be expected. Um, this is with no touch-ups. I've literally just been in the house, in the kitchen, meal prepping and watching TV and all that. Um, but... I got my color right there. Final thoughts. Um, definitely light to medium coverage. Um, color selection is kind of weird. I don't know if you can see all that right there. It's not cute. Um, it's pretty much completely disintegrated all in this area. I mean, I did eat dinner, but I ate dinner with my mouth, not my whole face. I don't, I don't know. It's not looking good for this foundation and me. I mean, it was very inexpensive, so it's not a total loss. But by itself, I probably won't use it again because it just took so long for me to get it to look decent. Um... I'm probably gonna play around with it and mix it in with some foundations that do work for me and see if I can get a use out of it that way. If you guys saw my last review of the Physicians Formula Foundation, you know that by itself it didn't work out for me, but mixed, it works out awesome. So I'm hoping it's the case for this too, otherwise there goes $7.99 down the drain. Can't win them all guys, you just can't. So uh, maybe this would work out better for someone who just likes really minimal coverage, maybe he has a little bit more dry skin um but definitely not medium to full like it says like tripping it does say medium to full doesn't it uh, natural looking sad finish yeah medium to full no girl no lies lies all right so thank you guys for watching i am so excited to take this off my face and just kick it the rest of the night um, hopefully I'll get this out to you this week. And yeah, see you guys next time. Oh, remember to like and subscribe. Bye. Hold up.